Hi guys, it's Kelsey and Kendra and today we're doing our January favorites. We don't have a whole lot of products to show you guys but enough to film a favorites video. We really didn't buy a whole lot of makeup in the month of January because it feels like we just did our best of beauty favorites video. We only recently purchased some makeup the end of January. Um, we'll be doing a haul on some of that makeup this week so we're looking out for that but other than that we haven't bought any new makeup. Yeah. Yeah that's probably why you're only going to see like two or three makeup products from each of us. Not a whole lot because we have other random favorites in this video like more skincare and things like that and I have warm hair products to talk about so even though we don't have a lot this video is probably going to be still not short so yeah because it's two of us so. yeah it's two of us so <laughs> y'all like the long videos especially the favorites videos so yeah we're just gonna get right into it okay so the first favorite is something that we both loved in the month of january and mm -hmm. before that but we're just not mentioning them it is these coco lashes and in particular in the style misha yes we have been obsessed with these coco obsessed. lashes we love coco lashes anyway because they're very inexpensive but like really good quality mm -hmm. they're supposed to be comparable to house of lashes yeah mm -hmm. but like literally have the price yeah but just as good mm -hmm. we heard about these from luster looks just like everybody else here on youtube so mm -hmm. she put us onto these lashes um i just really love them you get them from ladymoss.com yeah um, and they just have like so many different styles. Mm -hmm. We also like the goddesses, but those... They're not that comfortable to wear. Yeah, to us. Uh -huh. I have to cut mine a little bit. Yeah, because um, they're a little too long. Yeah. So you have to kind of cut them to your eye shape or whatever. Like most lashes. Mm -hmm. But those are just like, when I wore those and I didn't cut them, they were like poking me yeah. in the front. But nonetheless, they're gorgeous lashes because mm -hmm. the goddesses kind of look like the iconic lashes. From by House of Lashes. House of Lashes. So a lot of people love those as well, but I don't have any more. I use all mine. It's, they're good for every day too yeah they give like not a supernatural look but they're not so dramatic mm -hmm. to the point where it's like oh my gosh them lashes are some serious yeah yeah they're like really pretty but they add a lot to your eye look yeah like we're both wearing them today mm -hmm. and i love how they look on my eyes and i don't have to cut these um when i apply mine so i like that i don't have to adjust them to you know fit on my eye like it's not going through too much trouble to apply them i just take them out of the pack and just put them on yeah with the house of lashes glue mm -hmm. i do cut mine sometimes like the pair i have on now i did cut like a little bit of the edge off like but your the, eyes are a little bit smaller yeah my eyes are sm smaller than kendra so i have to cut most of my lashes because like they don't fit like they're hanging off the side or hanging off the front so i did cut these a little bit but they're still fine without me cutting them so that's you know really good because i always have to cut my lashes so mm -hmm. if you're looking for just some really good everyday lashes that are not too much the misha's are the way to go mm -hmm. so the next product i have to talk about this is from urban decay this is the 24 7 glide on eye pencil and perversion this is probably the best high-end eyeliner i've ever tried and you guys know i love my nars one in the color via veneto which is just black but this one i I hate to say it, but it's better than the NARS one and it's cheaper. Like, I think like 5 or $6. I have no idea. But I do know that this one is cheaper than the NARS one. This one was only $20 and I think the NARS one was like $25, $26 or something like that. But it's amazing. I'm wearing it in my waterline today and it's like super, super black. They have a regular black color, but the perversion is like their intense black shade and i'm obsessed with it literally it doesn't go anywhere so when you apply it it's not going anywhere it's going to stay put so i'm assuming it's waterproof because it doesn't budge when i wear it so this is really good if you have really watery eyes and you need a really good high-end eyeliner if you're looking for a high-end eyeliner the urban decay um 24 7 pencil is the way to go i'm obsessed with it and i think everybody will love it um a little bit goes a long way so it's gonna last you a really long time so yeah i love this Okay, so my last makeup favorite, told y'all not a whole lot, is the Maybelline lipstick in the color Crazy. No, I don't even know the name. Oh, yes, I do. Crazy for Coffee, number 275. Um, I'm wearing it right now. It's just a really pretty, it's pretty dark, everyday nude color where it's not, that, it's not that dark on me. But if you're lighter, this will be darker on you. But I feel like it's the perfect, like, everyday nude color. And it has a gloss to it. So you don't have to, um, if you don't like matte lipsticks and you like applying lip gloss, you won't have to apply a lip gloss with this because it's like a one-stop shop. You just put this on and you're good to go. Um, it has really good pigmentation. I do have to go over my lips a few times, but after the color is like there, it's there. Um, it's long lasting. I don't have to reapply this like too many times during the day. I just really love this lipstick and I've just been picking it up a lot in January because 
I kind of neglected it when I first got it. I really loved the color, but I was like using a lot of other lip products because I'm a lip product junkie. So this one didn't get that much love until now. And I don't know why because I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Crazy for Coffee by Maybelline. The last makeup product I have to talk about is also a lip product. This is the Buxom Lip Foundation in the color Bare. I'm obsessed with this. I haven't really heard about these before I bought it. I just kind of saw it in Sephora randomly and fell in love with the color. Because I'm not familiar with like these lip foundation things, I've never heard of them until I saw it. This color is so, so pretty. It's like the perfect like peachy nude color. It's a lot darker when you look at it, but for me, it goes on lighter. I'm wearing it today, but I have a gloss over top of it. Like if you wear, you can wear this matte or with a gloss over top like I did. Mm -hmm. And if you wear it matte, it's going to last all day. Like you don't even have to apply a second time. Like yeah. I wore this matte and ate with it and literally it looked like I just applied it. It just didn't go anywhere. The only thing is your lips feel a little, you know, chapped. It is a little drying. Yeah, it is a yeah. little drying. Like. Like most matte lip products, I can't imagine. But this one is serious. Like, it's something serious. Yeah. So, um, if you're someone who doesn't really like the matte look, like I said, you can add a gloss like I did. But I also like to wear this matte, especially if I know I'm going to be somewhere and I can't be worrying about, like, my lips, um, my lip product and, I, like, reapplying. Like, if you work all day and you can't be worrying about reapplying your lip products, this would be really, really good for that. So, really love this. And this is in the color Bare. Okay, so my next favorite is a skincare product and it is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Intensive Night Cream with Vitamin B3. Um, it just looks like this and this is the box that it comes in. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this night cream. Like, I've never really used a night cream before. I just always use just like a regular moisturizer. My clear complexion moisturizer from them, which I love still. I just use it for a day now. But this, y'all, is absolutely amazing. It just says it tones, um, helps with dullness, brown spots texture and blotchiness so if you've been struggling with texture as well as dark spots blotchiness any of that this is the go-to product for you it's like an all-in-one i guess you could say kendra even says she's been noticing a difference in my skin like mm -hmm. on my dark spots and stuff like that and it just makes your skin look more radiant and like brighter yeah i noticed that and this stuff is really thick um it kind of oh it smells so good too um it kind of looks like a deep condition a deep conditioner that you put on your hair like the it texture of thick. it but when you rub it in your fingers and put it on your face it's not thick at all so that's another reason i really like it because i hate thick like anything thick that goes on my face i don't like it at all so that's why i was kind of hesitant to try night cream at first because when i think of cream i think of a cream like something Real that's thick. like thick but this texture is like perfect because it looks thick to the end to the touch is kind of thick but once you start rubbing it in it's really not thick at all and it just goes on so smooth and then like it dries not dries but it just goes into your skin like kind of like a lightweight feel it doesn't feel too heavy but i don't want a product that makes me wake up even more oily than i already am and this does not do that so i love this stuff i mean it was only like 15 dollars at target which is another plus so i just really love this um night cream um so i'm glad i started using one i definitely have been seeing a difference in my skin so Kendra is more the night cream kind of girl, not yes, me. I love like night creams and stuff. Yeah, I'm kind of like more hesitant to try different skincare yeah, products. Your skin is more sensitive than mine. Yeah, Kendra, she'd be like, oh, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try that. I'm like, oh, I can't use it because yeah. I'm scared like I'm going to like wake up with a rash again. So this is amazing if you have sensitive skin as well. So I love this night cream. Okay, I have two skincare products to mention. The first one is from Fresh, and I purchased this a while back. I think we hauled this. I talked about this in our Sephora haul, like when we bought all our birthday stuff. And this was one of the skincare products I got, and this is the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. And I was kind of hesitant about getting this because I told y'all it was not cheap. It was a little on the pricey side. But after I used it, I just fell in love with it. I think I used this about once or twice a week. It's amazing. Like, it makes my skin so soft. And basically what this is, it says it has advanced antioxidant. It reveals, immediately reveals softer, firmer skin. And that's exactly what it did. After I use this, every time, as soon as I rinse it off my skin, my skin feels like, like so soft, like baby butt soft. So... I'm obsessed with it. I was really impressed with it. Well, I better be. It's expensive, you know. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about it is the smell. It's like an intense cucumber smell. Yeah, I'm not even going to open it because I want to do that to Kelsey. 
uh, it's I don't like some it either. serious. It's too much. It's strong. It's a lot. But it works so good. But I do like how this feels on my face. It has a really, really cooling sensation. Like you put it in the refrigerator before you use it or something. But it's just sitting, you know, with the rest of my products. And it feels so, so good. I'm assuming it's the cucumber because cucumber is supposed to help soothe, I guess. So this is amazing. So if you're looking for like an anti-aging, like mask if you like to have spa nights and treat yourself to a good mask this is so so good and i'm really impressed with this fresh brand because i heard good things about this before i bought it so it's kind of making me want to try other things from them so i really really love this okay so my next favorite is another skincare product this is the clinique all about eyes eye cream it just says it reduces circles puffs, puffs. reduces circles and puffs okay puffs. um i thought it would say puffiness or, or deep puffs yeah. but yeah um this is a really good eye cream i actually didn't purchase this i got this in, um as a point perk um at sephora when i um purchased something else and this is supposed to be a sample size that's a good sample this is gonna last me a while because a little bit of this goes a long way i just take a q-tip and dip it in and then like put it under my eyes and i just like pat it in i don't rub it i like to pat it and then i go like of above my eyebrows too and on the side because you know we don't want no crow's, crow's feet, feet. Mm -hmm. no but this is a really good eye cream i noticed my under eyes are like a lot more softer like smoother and because at one point they were kind of like dry feeling really dry like flaky almost i know it sounds kind of nasty but that's kind of how that's they work everybody needs an eye cream. yeah i recommend using the eye cream because it's just good preventative you know stuff even if you don't have wrinkles or anything you don't want to get them so you know this is really good for you know pre anti-aging you know all that good stuff so i really like this eye cream because the last one i used was a gel eye cream by estee lauder and it really didn't do anything for me so i was kind of disappointed in that so i was really surprised with the clinique one so i really like this eye cream if you've been looking for a, like an eye cream to try and you're like unsure of what to try i recommend this one it's a really good eye cream and when this one is gone i'll probably be getting the full size so i love this eye cream also it's not irritating so yeah, that's a plus too. So, love this eye cream. Okay, the next skincare product I have to talk about is from Murad. This is the Post Acne Spot Lightning Gel. And I was kind of skeptical about trying this because it is kind of pricey for like just a spot treatment. Because even though this is like a gel formula, you don't put it all over your face. You're only supposed to put it on your post acne spots, which is why like the name kind of caught my attention. And I think someone also recommended this in one of our comments, in one of the comments of our videos to try this. But I wanted to try it anyway, so I was already going to get it. But they kind of helped me remember, oh yeah, I did want to try that. So this stuff is super super potent like it's so powerful like when you like if you have dark spots like like me because i hate that about my skin every time i get a pimple like or blemish, a, a blemish or anything it always leaves a mark behind when it goes away yeah. and it's so annoying so every time like I, after i'm done like treating my pimples and they're gone i treat the dark spot with this stuff y'all this stuff is something serious it really does work and even though it says it has 2% hydrocodone in it, and I didn't know that hydrocodone lightens dark spots. So this stuff, like at one point, I used to apply it with my fingers and I found that my skin around the dark spot was getting lighter too. And I didn't want that. Like I still want to keep my brown color, but it was like, it looked too, Kelsey started to notice too, mm -hmm. like from far away. She was like, you've been using a lot of that um, lightening stuff. For your acne spots but i realized i need to apply it with a q-tip yeah so that's the key to this use a q-tip and put it directly on the spot don't use your fingers yeah because this is gonna look like white spots around, around the, the dark, dark spot, spot that's yeah. going away mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so i figured out how to use this because it really does work you just have to use it in the exact spot that mm -hmm. you need it so if you have this that's a little tip i would recommend just so you can keep your nice color you know you want to look even but um, I really, really love this and it really does work. And I have seen a huge difference in my dark spots because I break out mostly on my chin. So that's where all my dark spots are. And I've been seeing uh, all of them fade 
slowly even though this is not like a magical product overnight it still does work so i've used this i think for exactly a month now so i started using it using it in january so i really really love this i started using it with kendra but of course y'all know me i had to she end up taking rash. it back i got a rash i was like again we gotta go back to sephora <laughs> i'm surprised they don't know me by name because we're always going in there for me to return a skincare the product the skincare lady knows us though she's really she's nice she's always though. in this section yeah she's she so knows nice. us yeah but I had to take it back. So I'm kind of sad it didn't work for me. But I've been using something else for my dark spots that has been helping. So if um, it helps them even more, I will let y'all know what it is in an updated skincare routine. But I'm testing it out right now. So, yeah. Okay, so the next favorite I have is a, like, miscellaneous product. It's not skincare or makeup related. This is the Fit T 28-Day Detox. Um, this We got the 28-Day one because me and Kendra sh are sharing this um, bag. So we're doing like the 14 day one? Yeah, 14 days. So, yo, this tea is bomb. It's good. Um, I was a little hesitant to try this at first because we uh, had previously tried another like, you know, detox tea and it did not work for us. I was kind of disappointed because I was really excited to try it, but it did not work. But I agreed to try this one and I was like, okay, I'll see how I like it. And we both really like it a lot. Mm -hmm. And it tastes really, really good. Because most detox teas, I'm not going to lie. You got to add honey. They're kind of nasty. Mm -hmm. um, but this one, you can add honey or you don't have to add honey. And it's still going to be really good. So I also like that about this one because sometimes I forget to add honey. But this one is still very tasteful. You know, not like nasty. Mm -hmm. This is just what the tea bag looks like. It's not like the kind with the string. It's just like a whole tea bag, mm -hmm. um, which I also like because it has more tea in it. So it's like a lot of tea in them. And some of them look like they have corn in them. Yeah, which is really weird. It's like a random piece of corn it looks like in there. If you can see that yellow one. Yeah. So it has a lot of really good ingredients in it that I cannot pronounce other than organic green tea. Um, it also has honey powder in it, which is why I think you don't have to add honey to and it. And it has stevia and stevia so all the ingredients i can't pronounce i'll have them listed down below next to the tea um but it's just a lot of good in, um, ingredients it just says you're supposed to drink it every morning or before a workout we like to drink it before, before we work out um, because we don't really like to eat breakfast um that early in the morning we like to eat like a late breakfast because mm -hmm. too early me and kendra just like Ugh, we're like nauseous those sick nauseous people in the morning uh -uh, I, like, yeah that's what we are like we don't do mornings uh -uh. this gives me so well both of us so much more energy before we work out like that's another reason I didn't like working out previously because I was just, I, feel, I always felt so sluggish and like, it's like, that's the hardest thing about working out is starting. Getting ready to work yeah, out. Yeah, it's like getting ready to work out. It's like, I really don't feel like working out. The anticipation. Yes. but like this procrastinate. Yes, but this gives me so, so much more energy. The first time I drank this before I work, worked out, I just felt like I was not on something, but I was just like extra amped. Like I, you know, did like an extra like 10 20 minutes on the bike than i usually do i just had so much more energy and when i finished my workout i felt like i wasn't done i wanted to do more mm -hmm. and also you do have to still eat healthy with this tea this is not a miracle tea i swear people think they're gonna drink some tea and wake up skinny it don't work mm -hmm. like that you have to eat healthy it goes hand in hand and work out yeah so it just helps you to have a better overall lifestyle so you can actually start seeing the results of the tea so yeah, we love this tea. We're not um, drinking it to lose any weight because we don't no. want to lose weight. We're just drinking it to maintain our weight and, you know, just to continue to have an overall healthy lifestyle. Um, and also just has really good ingredi ingredients in it for your overall health anyway. So. so yeah, if you have not tried this Fit Tea, I recommend that you try it because it's pretty bomb and it tastes delicious. So yeah. So the next product I have here is a hair product. This is from John Frieda and this is the Frizz Ease Extra Strength six effects serum and me and kelsey used to use this serum like years ago when it was like completely different packaging they stepped that game up with this packaging because it used to be like literally half this size it was like an itty like not itty bitty bottle but it was a lot smaller than this mm -hmm. um it was the same color same texture same serum but this packaging is way better and this stuff they say you're supposed to use it on damp hair, but I like to use it on dry hair. I like to use it like just on my regular dry straightened hair as if I would use a regular serum or 
something like that because this is so good for your ends and a lot of people ask like how we get our hair shiny or how do you prevent it from getting frizz or flyaways um just any serum that you find that works for you is really good pretty much or any like spray oil organics mm -hmm. has organics has a lot of really good ones but this in particular i've been loving this especially since we've been working out a lot more like we usually work out like three days a week but now we've stepped it up to four days a week and my hair has lasted so much longer with this um on my ends because i find that my ends aren't getting really frizzy or anything like that and they're staying you know nice and tamed and sealed i feel like this helps a lot with that and it smells so so good it just smells like a salon this one was a little bit more expensive than like your typical drugstore serum like it was more than five dollars but it's still really good and a little bit goes a long way because this stuff isn't really watery it's a little on the thicker side yeah it's on the heavy side but once mm -hmm. you do like a, a baby like a tiny pea size amount and you kind of work it in in your hands mm -hmm. and you just kind of run it through your ends you're good to go so i've been loving this frizz ease extra strength serum and the last favorite I have here is a lotion. This is from Aveeno. This is the Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And this stuff, I was kind of surprised because I heard a lot of good things about it and I see like a lot of pictures on it on Instagram. Like if I'm on the popular page, this lotion was coming up a lot. And I'm like, let me just go try that lotion. This stuff is really, really good because y'all know my favorite, well, our favorite drugstore lotion is the Nivea Essentially Enriched, like the big blue bottle. Mm -hmm. That's the best drugstore lotion on the market. But when I tried this, I was really surprised. And this is really good if you you have like sensitive skin. And Aveeno is really good for like people with eczema and things like that. But I didn't think it would work for me because I have like super just dry, dry skin. skin. Like I don't have eczema or anything like that. But this really, really works because my skin is so dry, especially now in the colder months. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised when this worked for me because I didn't think it would be as intense of a lotion as I like. And it's really lightweight. Like when you rub it in, it feels super lightweight. But when it dries, it leaves your skin really, really soft. So I don't know what it is in this. And it says moisturizes for 24 hours. And it really does. Like I put my lotion on at night after I get out of the shower. And literally the next day, I don't even need to apply lotion for the rest of the day. So I really, really love this lotion. And I would repurchase this. And I was really surprised because y'all know I love my Nivea. So yeah, I love this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Okay, so my last two favorites are candles. And the first one I'm going to talk about is my overall favorite candle so good. of life forever. I hope they don't discontinue it. This is the sweater weather candle. I'm obsessed. Kendra put me onto this candle I because did. she actually purchased it before I did. Oh my God, this candle smells amazing. I burned amazing. it one time. Oh, and she smelled it all the way in her room. Stop it was burning in my real room. Fresh. <laughs> Real fresh, you know, got that, you know, minty, yes. you know, feel. Um, we mentioned this in a past video. I can't remember which one, but I think we mentioned the smell, like we just described Describe what smell. it smelled like. And it's like it's a, amazing. a really fresh scent. Mm -hmm. Um, You can definitely burn this in any part of the house, the bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, anywhere. Living room. So I, that's why I really like this because you can burn it anywhere. It's not like a sweet candle to me. It's like more for like the kitchen or the living room area or this something. This is like perfect for any room in the house yeah and it's a unisex candle i feel like anybody would like the smell smell of a candle so i'm obsessed with this candle this is my last one i actually purchased six on bath and body works website but all of them are sold out gone no mine are gone the ones i purchased oh. this is my last one i have so, two more to burn so, so thank god she still has some because i burned through mine so fast because i'm just obsessed with this candle so Sweater weather recommended if you can get your hands on it now. I'm not sure if you can still find it in Bath and Body Works, but I love this candle. It's amazing. Okay, my last and final candle. This is the Fireside candle. Um, this is the White Barn collection, which is why it looks like this. These don't come with like a top or anything. Um, but this candle, y'all, is life. This smells like a man, like mm -hmm. cologne. We were randomly like in that white barn area and we kept seeing the marshmallow fireside candle. Mm -hmm. And we're really not that crazy about about that one. Mm -mm. Like most people are. It's okay, but it's alright. It smells yeah. more burnt to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is just fireside. It's like cologne and a fire mixed together, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So this is just like the perfect cozy candle mm -hmm. in my opinion. Like it smells like a fine man. It does smell like a fine man. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it it smells, smells so good. good. With a strong cologne, though, mm -hmm. not like a light cologne. So it is on the stronger side if yeah. you don't like, you know, stronger scent scented candles. But if you do, mm -hmm. and, and you, you like those manly, manly scents, because it kind of has like a musky kind of scent mm -hmm. to it. It does. 
so yeah smell fireside if you haven't already i'm obsessed with this candle as well so love both of these so that was it for all of our January favorites. Like we said, we didn't have a whole lot, but I'm sure this video is still gonna be on the long side. So mm -hmm. still hope y'all enjoyed the long video. So let us know in the comments down below if you tried any of these products and if you love them like we do. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.